Hey guys, it's Candace. I just want to chat with you for just a second about something that you might be struggling with as you're getting a few days into your challenge and starting to maybe get a little bit discouraged. Your family. We all have someone that is in our life that maybe is pushing back on our decision to be healthy, whether it's your spouse and your kids, if it's a house full of roommates, if it's your parents or your siblings, we all face a little bit of pushback at times from someone in our circle of influence, um, simply because we're doing something new, we're doing something different, and that's a little scary. So I wanted to give you a few tips. This is specifically for those of you who are experiencing a little bit of struggle, some pushback with those who are in your house, okay? And I'm going to speak to moms mainly, um, but this is perfectly applicable to any of you who have roommates or that you live with your parents and your siblings still and you're trying to do this on your own. Um, this can still apply to you guys, okay? So the first thing you need to consider when you're starting something new like this and, um, you know, there's family involved, sit down with them and tell them what you're doing. Just tell them that you've got this new goal and tell them why. Make sure that they understand it's not just about getting skinny, especially if you're talking to your children. Sit down with them and say, hey guys, mom's going to be doing this thing, trying to lose a little bit of extra weight on her body because I want to be healthy so that we can go hiking this summer. Or I want to be more healthy so that I can be a better mom for you. And explain to them that you're just trying to get more healthy and this is how you're going to do it, by eating healthier and exercising. And then just let them know. It would really help me if you guys would just encourage me and cheer me on and don't let me get into that bag of chocolate chips and, you know, tell me I'm doing a good job when I'm working out. You know, just give them kind of a role to play in your journey, okay? Let them know what you're doing. Tell them what would really help you if they would do it for you and then back off, okay? Back off. Don't shove it down their throats constantly, all day, every day. Oh, you shouldn't be eating that. Just because you're laying off sugar or you're quitting the soda, if your family is still having some, don't lecture them. That's going to give them a really negative vibe toward you and your new healthy lifestyle, and they're going to start pushing back and really ragging on you when you're being healthy. So don't shove it down their throats. Don't lecture them. Just lead by example. They are going to learn and they are going to slowly change their habits simply by watching you do it, okay? So let them know what you're doing, let them know how they can support you, and then lay off, okay? Just let it go and just go about your business and do the best you can. Now, a couple of things that can help you. One thing I really, really want you to avoid, not avoid, but absolutely never ever do, okay? Do not cook a separate meal for your family versus what you're cooking for you. Don't cook two meals at once. Do not do that to yourself. I have worked with so many women who will do that and it's days or weeks before they come to me completely exhausted and overwhelmed and broke because they're spending double on groceries because they're cooking double meals. Don't do that, okay? You can adjust your family meals to work for you and them, okay? And you want them to start getting the benefits of these healthy changes too. You don't want to keep feeding your family deep fried Snickers for dinner while you're having a salad. You want them to start being able to benefit from your habits as well. But again, we're trying not to shove it down their throats. So how do we do that? I recommend looking at your favorite family dinners. What do you guys like to eat? We eat things like sloppy joes and spaghetti and lasagna and tacos and nachos. Those are some of our go-to foods. I can still eat those. I can still eat those. I can switch out to whole wheat buns or tortillas or whole wheat um, pasta. I can make a little separate batch of lasagna that uses zucchini instead of noodles. It's the same process. It's the same food. I'm just sectioning out a small bit of it for me that doesn't have noodles in it. I can swap out the sugar 
in my sloppy joe sauce and instead use pure maple syrup or honey which is still sugar and you still want to be easy on that but it's way better than the processed white stuff okay so you can make little adjustments like that to your regular family foods and then when you throw in a new healthy recipe don't tell them it's healthy just say i'm trying a new recipe and they're not going to kick back because it's not every night they're still eating their normal foods with some new stuff thrown in every once in a while. Some of the changes that you're going to want to make, you're going to need to ease into it with your family. Um, whole wheat noodles. The first time I just went cold turkey whole wheat spaghetti noodles and my family hated it. They were so mad at me. So the next time I did half whole wheat and half regular white. And I did that for a couple of times and they didn't even notice. And eventually I switched completely to whole wheat noodles and now... That's what we eat always is whole wheat everything and they love it. In fact, I recently bought a box of cheap white spaghetti because I wasn't planning to have any and it was it was convenient so I just grabbed it. And my family was like, what is this? These are disgusting. Will you just get our normal noodles next time? So over time, you're gonna help them to learn those healthy habits too. As long as you're just kind of quiet about it, just kind of slip it in there not necessarily being sneaky, but just kind of easing them into it instead of going cold turkey. That's going to make a huge difference in whether or not they complain the whole time and really leave you feeling frustrated, okay? So don't cook separate meals. Look at your family meals and look at how can I adjust this meal to work for my meal plan and still taste like our family favorite. One thing that I like to recommend is to go to, to Pinterest and search for a paleo version of whatever you're making. Paleo spaghettis, paleo sloppy joes, and look at some of the ideas they have and incorporate that for you. If your family wants spaghetti and you can't have carbs tonight because you're all out of yellow portions, have spaghetti squash on the side or do roasted vegetables for the whole family and then you can put your sauce over top of the vegetables and let them have the noodles. There are ways for you to adjust any meal to work for you, okay? So sit down, have a meal with your family. Don't let that change the way that your family dynamic works, but slowly start making those adjustments so that everybody gets the benefits of your new healthy habits. Because you're the mom, you're cooking, you might as well be making those decisions to help them learn how to sustain their bodies, and they're gonna learn things that will help them their entire lives. But you can't shove it down their throats. You got to take it easy, you got to take it slow, and you got to kind of be stealthy. Just do your thing and let them follow your lead, okay? Hopefully that helps you. If you want some help, you know, adjusting a specific meal, um, there's something that you're like, if I take this out of our meal plan, my family will rebel. How do I make it healthy? Just leave it in the comments and tell us, and we will help you to see how you could maybe adjust it to still work for you, okay? You guys can do this. This is a lifestyle adjustment. It takes time, but it is so absolutely 100% worth it. So don't give